Good morning, everyone. Today, as I said, is a very special day. We're going to be joined by several people here today. And as you can see, we have some things that are going on. We have some boxes, and we have lots of people, cameras going on. And we would like to just welcome Noel Rubbermaid and Kids in Need. Today's a... <laughs> Today is a special day and you're going to see throughout the program as we continue how special it is. Um, I would like to thank uh, our APS staff, Katie McDowell, who has really worked well with us. So we're going to go ahead and get started, but welcome to Boyd Elementary School. We are here to just welcome everyone that's participating in this event and celebrate our teachers. And teachers, you make a great difference in the life of the students. And every day that you come to work and you have a smile on your face and you are here with the lessons that you are ready to serve with our students, you're making a difference. And today is all about you. So we would like to thank you and I would like to say welcome to everyone. And we're gonna get started and I would like to welcome to the stage or to the podium, um, Paula Larson. She is the Chief Human Resource Officer for Newell Rubbermaid. And she's going to present to you and greet you today and um, get very excited because there's a lot of stuff that's gonna come forth for you today. So again, welcome and welcome to the podium, Paula. Thank you. Good morning. I have to tell you, uh, thank you, Principal Gibbons. I uh, thank you for getting me out of school this morning. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm honored here today. I'm really, picture me being 17,900 people all over the world, because that's what Newell Rubbermaid is. We have a bunch of folks that I'm representing today and before I say a few words about today's event, I would love to take a moment to echo what Principal Gibbons said. As much as I love hanging out with everybody right here in the middle who are students at Boyd Elementary, we are here today for the folks who are lined up along the walls here. So let's give a hand to the teachers. So I'm, I'm this thing called a company officer, which won't mean a lot to a whole lot of people in the room, but out of those 17,900 people, there are five people at the top of the company who have to make decisions to bring along the whole company, delight the people who buy our products, and help the future you who are gonna grow careers at Newell. And it turns out the only way I got there was because of a whole bunch of teachers like her, that are, who are in the room today. So it turns out I use math. It turns out I read a lot. And I am telling you to this day, and I'm pretty old y'all, I still remember my third grade teacher and my seventh grade teacher and my 10th grade teacher. I still do. So I love being here to thank teachers for the countless hours that you dedicate, the official hours, and the unofficial hours I know a bunch of you do every day because you're so committed to the faces in this room. So each and, each and every one of you are here to help my daughter and help the children in this room become the future us, right, in the business. So once again, let's thank the teachers. So it turns out you'll hear that we're the company that makes Sharpies and all kinds of fun things that hopefully you all uh, use within the classroom. But we really are committed to making sure the consumers who buy our products um, all across the globe are delighted with what we do. So part of what we do as Newell Rubbermaid, we've made a conscious choice as a mission to better the educational environment, like where you are today, for both teachers and for students. So just ahead of next week, which is National Teacher Appreciation Week, we wanna thank you for the impact that you have on the students here and represent what you do to inspire in the classroom. Now here's what I've learned about, not only through my company, but 
I don't know, shows like Ellen and other places that just love teachers. What I learned is that teachers often, on average, spend $1,000 of their own money to get, uh, you know, different, what, supplies in the classroom, right? Because they really want to make sure that between the donations of parents and the extra work that they're doing, that we have the basic supplies at the beginning of the year, but even right about now, which I have a feeling it's getting pretty low, right? Pretty low. Hey, hello. So, uh, so part of what we're trying to do here is to make sure that um, we help everybody reach their full potential, and we want to make use of our products to do that. We're excited to help teachers and students in the classroom, and in fact, our corporate giving, big word, we call it philanthropy, our corporate giving philosophy is to be about education. So, I don't know, a few months ago, we had 2,000 employees all over the world go to 120 different places in 25 countries on the same day. And we said, we're gonna put our pens down and we're gonna get off our computers and we wanna go out into our communities and we wanna help people in our communities. So I was actually fortunate to be in Shanghai, China on that day. And I worked with a bunch of kids, all ages represented in this room. Many of them were waiting to go to a hospital for a very serious surgery. And we were trying to give them books and help them to be able to do both things at once. It's hard enough to go to school every day. But then when you have something else going on, we wanted to make sure that we supported them. So um, as you may know, a um, series of projects that we had here actually in Atlanta during that time, we had a scholastic book fair, we had the reading oasis here at Boyd, yeah? You remember that? So that's, that's all about us just trying to do our part in the places in which we live all over the world. So it's with great pleasure today, as part of the Newell Rubbermaid family, that we come back to Boyd Elementary, and we're gonna deliver something to 4,000 teachers all over Atlanta, and it's called the Teacher Toolbox. So I'll just tell you a little bit about what's there. Um, in the Teacher Toolbox, you'll find all the products that people in my company make. You'll find Expo markers, that's, yeah, hello. Uh, what else we got going on here? We've got erasers and wipes and paper mate pens and pencils. Yeah? We've got Mr. Sketch Markers. Who likes those? <laughs> okay, and it would not be complete without saying Sharpie. Yeah. <laughs> So what you see is just a few of those, um, I can probably put this second microphone down now. Um, what you see is just a few of those 4,000 boxes in front of you today. And we will be sending those out to 105 other schools. So 105 plus one is? 106, yeah, I think I heard enough 106s to take that. So 106 schools, 50,000 students across Atlantic Public Schools. So uh, with that in mind, let's make it official. For you, for you. Okay, and then one more time, I mean, this is just a small token of appreciation uh, to folks who really run the world. So um, <laughs> Kay, who's the head of our philanthropy, knows I always get choked up when it's for real. And, uh, you know, I think teachers are the ones who should make the most money because you have the minds and the, the hearts of, uh, of the world, right? So. Uh, and, and, and society doesn't work that way, so uh, um, you know, not to stir it up, my comment is thank you for that, and we're gonna keep giving, and we're gonna keep showing up, so we can do a little bit to help you along the journey with these amazing children who are in the room today, so thank you. Now, it turns out just about everything around the world takes a village. 
And in our village, we are really fortunate to work with Chris Cohn and uh, the Kids in Need Foundation. This is a nonprofit, and their mission is to make sure every single child shows up to school and are able to learn and succeed by providing some great free school supplies nationally to students most in need. So I would like to introduce Chris, who I had an opportunity to partner with a few times. Thank you so much, Paul, and, and Principal uh, Gibbons, thank you so much for hosting us here today. What a nice surprise for all your teachers. This is gonna be great. Well, good morning, boys and girls. Now I need to tell you the other part of the secret. I was a third and fourth grade teacher. And there is, in a public school in Northern Illinois, just outside of Chicago, Rockford, Illinois, and I have to tell you, those are some of the best memories I had and worked in public education for my whole life until the last six years. Because in those last six years, I've had the opportunity to work for an organization called the Kids in Need Foundation. And we get to partner with wonderful folks like Newell Rubbermaid and the entire global uh, force that they have. But many of you probably know that here in Atlanta, you have the Kids in Need Resource Center. Yay! And I know that Boyd shops there, so we're thrilled about that. We're thrilled about that. The Kids in Need Foundation has 36 teacher-free stores across the country, mostly in very large urbanized communities like Atlanta. But what we try to do, as, you know, um, as Paula said, is make sure that we get free school supplies into the hands of teachers so that they can bring them in, into their classroom. And I know, even though it was a whole lot of years ago when I was in the classroom, even then, as teachers, we were self-funding our classrooms. It has just gotten crazier and crazier. But here's the good news. In 2014, the Kids in Need Foundation was able to acquire 118 million, I'm gonna say that one more time, 118 million dollars worth of free school supplies that we sent out across the country. 118 million. In addition to teacher grants that we have, and I know many of you here at Boyd have applied for our teacher grants that we have also across the country. But we're able to do this because we have fabulous partners like Newell Rubbermaid, major corporations, manufacturers, and retailers across the country who care about what's happening in their communities, who care about what's happening throughout the United States. So when we take a look at the 50,000 students and the just over 4,000 plus teachers who are going to be receiving these wonderful toolboxes. What we know is that we're still just the tip of the iceberg. And as I saw the heads shaking that when we're getting towards the end of the year, some of our supplies are running out. We know that that is what is so cool about, for example, the Atlanta Kids in Need Resource Center. It's not open just at the beginning of the school year. It is open throughout the school year. And wonderful teachers like y'all are able to go in and shop for free. And for those of you who have been there, if you know of any of your uh, fellow teachers who haven't, please encourage them to go. Because it is only our goal in life to be able to get as many teachers shopping for free. And we know it's at the end of a very long school day. But we also know that those of you who've been there, we treat you like you walked into the most fabulous school supply store on earth. And we're so glad that you're there, and we're so glad that you can walk out with a huge basket of free school supplies. So on behalf of the Kids in Need Foundation and our 36 resource centers across the country, I say thank you to not only the Atlanta Public Schools for all that you do to educate the girls and boys in your classrooms, but to your fabulous team members, your teachers, and your educators across the system, and to a wonderful partner that we have and that you have, Newell Rubbermaid. So help me thank all of them.
boys and girls, I'm going to ask you to do one favor for me. I need you to stay seated the way that you are, but I want you to turn your head and look at your teacher. And then in one, two, three, we're going to say, thank you. One, two, three. Thank you. Thank you all. It all right, so are you guys excited? I'm glad, and teachers, this really is something that's very important to all of us because teachers influence the entire world, as Paula had said. And then Chris came around and stated that she, is, she was a former teacher, so she understands what each teacher in this room is going through at this point. We're at the end of the year, our resources are low, and we're also tired. But that doesn't stop us from making a difference and it doesn't stop us from keep on pushing on and making things happen. So on behalf of Boyd Elementary School, we would like to thank Newell Rubbermaid and Kids in Need for everything that you're doing for Atlanta Public Schools and especially here at Boyd. You've made your mark with our Reading Oasis and giving us five books each child with Scholastic. And so there aren't many things that we could do or say other than showing you what our kids can do. So on behalf of Boyd Elementary School, we would like to welcome our cheerleaders who will give us a little bit of thank you for what you have done in making a difference for our teachers and our students. Cheerleaders, it's on you. Boys and girls, we need your attention.
and Ms. Kilgore, Ms. Jackson, and Ms. White. We're almost finished. Boys and girls, let's give our peers a round of applause. So we're almost done, and at this time, we're going to distribute the toolboxes to our teachers. So students, we're going to give a big cheer when the, the teachers come forward. So we're going to start with pre-K and kindergarten teachers. Come on down. <laughs> Woo! Um, today we were presented by Rubbermaid with a box of tools um, for our classroom. Um, dry erase markers, uh, highlighters, uh, sharpies, things that we really need in the classroom. And by, as you know, we're almost at the end of the year. So these things are greatly appreciated by all the teachers here at Boyd Elementary. At the end, it helps me to make sure all the students have their supplies and we are able to do extra activities because we do have the supplies. All students have pencils, all students have art um, materials so we can um, make sure that we have extra curriculum here at the school. I would like to say thank you for Newell, to Newell for providing us these materials. They are greatly appreciated and we really need them.